Thank you very much. And also we have Victoria Men. She's a co-founder and COO of Firefly IO. Good to have you. Thank you. In the first, of, first of all, let me find out from you. So what does Firefly do? Okay, so Firefly IO basically implements STEM education in Ghana. Okay. We aim to ensure that every Ghanaian child has access to practical um, STEM education. So when it comes to robotics, I, I, IOT, sorry, mm -hmm. 3D printing and 3D modeling, we are taking the lead in doing that. I like that. When did yeah. you found this company? So this company has been in existence for four years. We started okay. in 2020. While in school or out of school? Um, okay, so I joined Firefly IO actually in first year as a co-founder. And I've been with them throughout my third year. Hold on, hold on. You joined as a co-founder. So you yeah. were one of the founders? Yes, please, I am. From your first year in school? Yes. Unbelievable. What made you start this? My passion for STEM. Okay. Way back in junior high school, I attended Kenton Chrono Emmy, which is uh -huh. a public school. Okay. We did not have access to this practical education. So when it comes to robotics, 3D printing, getting to know electronics and all of those things, mm. I didn't have the opportunity to learn from it. So oh. when I go to the university, that's Academic City University College, and we kind of empower STEM education. So that motivated me to stand out there and also advocate for STEM. That's impressive. Yes. Yeah. You make them locally. All our robots are locally produced here in Ghana. So we have 3D printers and filaments that we use. And when we get the design, we actually partner with Abacos Robotics. Okay. So we partner with them, get the designs, and then craft the robots ourselves. And these robots, what, what do these robots do exactly? Okay, so the robots are mainly used to train our students. Uh -huh. So they are taught how to 3D model some of the parts of the robots. So they are taught SolidWorks, Fusion 360, AutoCAD, and all of those um, 3D modeling software so that they will be able to actually build their own robots. Aside that, they learn electronics and programming. So the electronic parts and the programming parts of the robots are also under their control. Ah. So the students get the opportunity to 3D model, get the opportunity to code, and also know more about robotics, and most importantly, apply it to real-world scenarios. So in your case, I can imagine how excited you were when you got that, whether it's an email, a message, whatever it was definitely, from them, um, that you had been selected as part of the fellowship definitely. for this year. Definitely. How did it feel and what does it mean for you going forward? Okay, so I got to know more about Firefly IO in my first year at Academic City University College. Mm. We had a program on campus and there were so many tech companies coming around and I got spotted by the founder who is um, George Saffo. So through some interactions with him, he realized that I was also passionate about STEM mm. and passionate about being a STEM advocate for yeah. Ghana and also ladies. I see. Yeah. So, so moving forward, tell me how you intend to use this to impact the lives of the kids who um, you know, are going to benefit from this app. Yeah. So Firefly is actually on a larger scale impacting so many people, especially those in the rural areas. Mm. We realize that for robotics competitions, for these STEM skills, most of them are focused on the students in the urban cities. Yeah. So we go way back to the rural areas. We go to Keta, Akosombo, Akuse, Lake Pulebi. We have 14 different centers in the Volta region and three centers in the northern region mm -hmm. that we train students and equip them with these necessary skills. I because see. we believe that this is the future. Well, this indeed is the future. Just quick one before we wrap up. So how long is this fellowship going to run and what kind of impact are you looking 